Hey guys, it's Ursula's Adventure, and welcome back to Nancy Drew, The Legend of the Crystal Skull. I'm hanging out with my sister. What's up? And we are... Oh, we just talked to Ned, and he kind of... We just essentially talked things through. It was nothing we hadn't heard before. Uh, any hints that he gave, we kind of already knew. Uh, so we're sort of stumped. We know that before we do anything else, we need to find chalk. That's literally all we need to do before we can get anything else and i'm not really sure the only thing i can honestly think of oh, come on, go is inside. it like outside somewhere i don't know the only thing that is logical to me is to take are you charcoal. kidding me i don't know why i didn't think about that sooner now if now it looks like i cheated and i looked but you it up didn't. online i didn't i i honestly i just walked to this room and i was thinking you know what what's better than char chalk charcoal Char Oh my god. Hey, that, we... that sounded very confident for me not thinking that that was going to work at all. <laughs> I, I'm honestly really shocked that I, uh, I'm, you know okay. what? I bet you we can check it off on the checklist. This one. Did that? Oh Are god. you kidding me? Oh my god, because I had a sudden epiphany that we needed charcoal. All right, well, let's just do this now. Yeah, but it was literally the only thing that we could possibly do. Okay. Probably should have come up with that sooner, seeing as the the rubbing that we found was, was, black. was black. Yeah. That was easy. Okay. I hope we don't need like five pieces of paper. Oh look, Nancy figured this out on her own. Boom. This way she could be like, oh, that's exactly like the one I found. Yeah. Worm. Although I really like this border. And coffin. Let's go see what's in that bad boy of a box. Uh, let's see. This one was the bird, and, and this one worm. was the worm. Holla! I don't say holla. I don't know why I said that. I'm hanging out with you <laughs> way too much. Do we want to take that key and try Open it? Open the crypt? Yeah. Oh, is it gone? Oh, great. So now we finally have charcoal and you're gone? He's gone and I can't snoop through his thing. This is just against is all this? of Nancy's rules. The Every time I think of the word crypts, it just... Oh, oh God. Oh, buddy. You a wimp, eh? Just kidding. Buddy. His only living relative who just died, and he came. Oh. What if this is his parents' crypt? Oh, it might be... What are his parents' names? Why didn't he go This must be the painting that goes in that empty frame. Huh. Where that it's in here. She had an umbrella. Maybe it's not weird. Claude Bolle, 1990. 1990. This must be his dad. And his mom. Oh, that's sad. He was kind of his parents. Buddy! so. Beefy. Guess it was just for the painting. Let's go talk to Crybaby. Hey, buddy. Sorry about your dad. And your mom. And your great uncle. Sorry everyone you love died. And now you're left with the estate. Hey, buddy. How you hey. holding up? Hey, it's okay. We're uh, friends now. Yes. yes. We oh, we can't. Oh, okay, we, fine. Okay, I guess we're just gonna pretend like that never oh, happened. <laughs> All right, whatever. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Look. Oh, do we have to put these like in order? In order of what, though? I don't know. All right, well, let's see what we have. We got eyeballs, a case file, a pair. Oh, oh. this was inside of the book. Yeah, this looks like this is important. Wait, hold up. One, two, three, four, and I think five. It this is the how paintings. Many is paintings it? Is it the? Oh, oh, you like umbrella and puppy and apple. I don't know if those are all things. Let me write this down. All right. Okay. So lollipop. T okay, yeah, lollipop. Axe. Is, uh, third from the bottom. Banana. Banana. That's second. Monkey. Monkey is the last one. Umbrella. Last, last, last one. Puppy. Poodle. Oh, poodle. Okay, first one. Oh, no. There. Yes. Fan? Uh, right above. Third. 
Hat. Second at the bottom row. Hey, fresh. This Tea. would be it. Click. Peep hole. Let's peep. Oh, spoopy. A book. Eye of the beholder. All right. Guess we'll go look at the eye of the beholder. All right. That was the long-winded. Come on, Summer, give me a break here. You never said anything about that. Well, how was I supposed to know? I mean, what am I, telepathic? No, no, come on, don't get upset. Listen, he was already upset, well, okay, I'll Summer? See what I can do, okay? What do you mean, something else? You gotta be kidding me, Summer. I don't have that kind of money. No, no, I meant, I, I don't have it now. But I will, soon, okay? Bye. Why does he sound like he's oh, in a man. relationship? Yeah. What you need the money for? Mmm, buddy. I accepted the first habit. Spider. Oh! Uh. Okay, well, this is the key that's in the spider's well. We just don't know what... Oh! Oh, there's One, colors! One, two, <gasps> three. We're writing this down. Now we're getting somewhere. Well, since we're gonna pass him anyway, do we want to ask yeah, if everything's talk okay to him about with Summer? Summer? We're gonna say, get out of that relationship, man. She's killing yes. you, man. <gasps> Why do what? We... All the important plot Nancy, points. Awesome. You're really not doing such a great job at being at a helping detective. your friend. Your friend. That too. Your do you want to go take a look at that book with the horse? And oh, the, yeah, yeah, the eye of the beholder. Just an eyeball. That is. That was. A long, that is a long-winded way to figure out where you lost yes. your tiger's eyeball. I'm going to keep looking around. Sounds good. And, like, that camera was, like... Very precise. It's like really an HD good, focus, like right? Like, a really good zoom. Like, he really, like, wanted us to know that. There's an eye in there. Just in case I'm dead. And you need to know where my eyeballs are. Alright. Okay, so one is that one. Two is one, one two, three... Two threes next to one, bottom. Four is next to two up top. Five is one down from it. Six is the third one, two, three. This one, this one. Seven is above it. This one's eight. Here? Yes. Bye, spider, bye! Oh, now we can reach. Wait. You know, I'm just saying we're only here for like an hour or two because like Nancy just like stopped by and she's going to solve this mystery for this guy in two hours when he's been sitting here for how long? You well, I mean, me? he wasn't really trying to solve a mystery. He so was that's what I'm saying. Like, morning. didn't he even care about his uncle? <laughs> At all? D shouldn't he have known these like, things? How, like, how did we figure this out? We didn't even know the guy. Ooh, ski ball. Oh, spoopy, spoopy, spoopy. Alright, this is probably the door we came in from. If we just... I gotta do creepy stuff in this game. I feel like there are things that are gonna spring out at us. Any minute now. Yeah, it's because you see the jack in the box, huh? Oh! I would not eat that. Nancy, Nancy, Ew, gross. Come nasty. on, Nancy. Girl, you nasty. We didn't even put a quarter in. Maybe if I put a quarter in, I'll get an eyeball. Nancy, how much bubble gum are you going to eat? I'm just saying, if there is an eyeball in here, you just ate bubble gum from... Somebody's eye some cavern. That touched somebody's eyeball. Like, eye socket. You're disgusting. Okay, I think, I think we're, we're good here. Nancy's you know, like got a, a mouthful of bubble, of bubble gum. Ah, here's the dog. Well, Look, we can't get to there her. because, Jack you know. the box. Milsey, Milsey. Do I need to write the song down? Yep. Spider. See an eyeball from where the spider is. Oh, okay. That's Ready? a good hint. Okay. Nancy yep. just got a really good ear Potted. that she's able to tell, like, hey, that's Milsey, 
Well, I mean, she's she's dealt with pianos and stuff in plenty of games. This must be where I'm supposed to put all the glass eyes I've found. Let's see how we're doing. I'll play the game in a minute. It just looks like it's gonna be fun. Uh -huh. Oopies. Boopy doo. Oh. These are like the words. Okay, what's it supposed to say? It's supposed to say ba za lu pa. Wait, ba ba za lu lu pa pa di di mu mu ka. Pa za lu pa di mu pa. Got coin. Ooh, pirate ship. Know. The last denizen buried on my grap card will start you a hunting through the graveyard. What's written on the headstone will lead you to another, and so on and so forth, till tiny treasure you discover. So we need to figure out who's the last person buried. Okay. Can I take this with me? Dead? Cool. Thanks. I didn't want to touch it. Okay. <gasps> Look at the little tiny dresser! Mm. How cute! Uh, See? This is something we're going to have to take a picture of. Take a picture. My phone is dead. Oh, look an eyeball. Oh, do uh, we gotta grab it? Oh, crap. Luton's law, dude. It's gonna it's gonna get lower and stuff. Stop. Gotcha. Oh, that was close. Look, it's got a bullseye. How cute is that? Cause it's like, get the target, get the target. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, calendar, calendar 2009? Didn't he die in 2007? Okay. Shiver Parlor House. Little pirates. No, oh, I didn't get my date book. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. This is not Arg one. Chateau. Nothing for March. Iridescent Pearl West Bank. May 31st. That's, That's today. today. Scuttled Bones, Rampart, and Domain. Ah, oh, look at that. That's Everything's in Rampart and Domain nowadays. It just so happens. Davy Jones, Beverly Noel. I guess he'll never make it to that meeting. That one All one. of the skulls look different every time. Because That's fine. Oh, in. this one's also Rampart and Domain, too. He's never going to Avast, any of these other know. meetings. Short Stories for Tired Eyes by Bruno Boulet. <sighs> Dedicated to those who hear the whisper. Time will tell librarian's tale, a history of Quincy T. Booker's teeth. Steps in the right direction, the key to statues, statues are key. Plentiful pirates and nautical nonsense. Oh, am I reading them all right now? Yes. Okay. Hold up. This is a hint for the clock. I bet. Okay, so let's write this down. At exactly midday. So, 12. Teacher said to his class, what time will it be when three hours have passed? So, so three plus three. So, three o'clock. Okay. I'm just doing this because I think we might need to go like forward, then back, then forward, okay. then back. Let's okay. pretend that it's that time and move ahead two hours more. Plus two. And then from there, let's say that it's nine hours before. Minus nine. If six hours before then. So minus six. Uh -huh. We'd made note of the time. What time would it be if we moved ahead nine? Plus nine. His students wrote down six numbers in all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then went back to their daydreams of things big and small. Perfect. Part two. At high noon, the sheriff stepped into the street and addressed bad man Bart. Five hours ago. I would have told you to leave town, and you sure, you sure. swore you'd be gone in three. Oh, that one's tough. So five hours ago, you said you'd be gone in three, so plus three? Wait. Five hours ago, I told you to leave, and you swore you'd be gone in three. Minus two. Plus two. Why are you still here? I left right when I said I would, Bart exclaimed. But just as I was riding out, my horse threw a shoe. I took him straight to the blacksmith, but he was real busy. Said it would be five hours till he finished with my horse. So plus five. five. Better tell him to get a move on the sheriff, drawled. Because two hours from now, you're, if you're still here, you're going to be real sorry, understand? Bart understood. He went back to the blacksmith and an hour later was on his way out of town. Okay. That is confusing. Part three. It was midnight. On a dark and stormy night, 
Only four hours before I had seen my dear friend Hollis, who informed me he was leaving for the court of the Star Chamber in a mere two hours, and feared he would never return. I realized that six hours after he was to enter the chamber, I was to surrender myself to Count Blackthorn, Blackburn. I had no way of knowing whether after the usual five hours plus five again of interrogation, I'd be able to keep my rendezvous with Lucretia two hours later. Would the Count let me leave or would I, he imprison me forever? I was terrified. Now we're at a librarian's tale. A great keeper of books, it's true, I am I. Many a reader through me can spy on wondrous worlds that will never die. You could say it's magic, the librarian's eye. But to get such an eye, you must first take a look at the cards that keep track of every book. The title of the thing additions the hook that will let you remove the orb from its nook. So that has something to, to look do at the library cards and add them together. I think we're going to stop this one here and continue with these puzzles in the next episode. If you enjoyed it so far, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to see the continuation and to figure out the rest of these riddles. They're actually quite fun uh, to see how they're going to apply to the rest of the game. Uh, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!